Hey everybody, welcome back to Pick of the Week. This time I'm featuring the sixth studio album by Who Made Who titled Through the Walls on NBC of Music from 2018. So Who Made Who is a band I was not familiar with until a lot of you guys clued me in onto them. And this is my first album I got to listen to and I absolutely loved it. I will admit though, it took me a couple of passes before it finally clicked and Oh my gosh, listening to this record again before this review uh, just made me fall in love with it all over again. There, there's something so wonderful about the eclectic nature of their sound. I think uh, if you just kind of hear it walking past a room, it might come across as like a, not necessarily EDM music, but just sort of electronic music. But if you really kind of sit down and listen and pay attention, it's so much more than that. There's all these different layers going on. They really have this, to me, have this sound of Hot Chip and Junior Boys. They, they really fit in nicely with, with those two bands. And funny enough, they have opened for Hot Chip. Now the band are from Denmark. They're based in Copenhagen and they're a trio. Uh, it's primarily drums, bass, and the vocalist. And I have to assume there's a lot of keyboards and, and synthesizers that make up the rest of the music. So what's interesting though is that not every track is heavily drum and bass influence. There's there's more like sonic texture bass, kind of more Brian Eno-esque, and then there's elements more trip hoppy, and then there's even stuff that reminds me of NXS. So it, it is a varied record, which I appreciate. It's not just like one flavor. There's many different flavors. It really leaves you with something by the end, which I can't say about every record. Um, so I'm really excited for you guys to check it out on your own time. But in the meantime, let me break this down track by track. First up, we have the very bright and uplifting song, Neighborhood. We Now, normally I'm not a fan of auto-tune on vocals, but man, the use here is so well executed. It's it's used very sparingly, and it's just, it, it really works on this track. The drums are also very effective, help to move this song along, and there's some really nice textures throughout. Track two opens with a darker song titled Crystal, and this one really reminds me of some of the trip hop that was coming out of the 90s, something that uh, Sneaker Pimps or Portishead would have put out. But really the clear winner for me is the vocals. He's up into his falsetto, and it's 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 like pitching up and then dropping down, and it's just creating this nice bit of tension with this already moody song. Check it out. Track three is Dynasty, and this is a return back to that opening track. Very bright and sunny. It feels like I'm on a tropical island. This is a definite pool lounge track. Love it. Track four is I Don't Know, and oh my gosh, do I love the beat on this. It feels so badass. Oh man, ah, this would be great in a movie trailer or just in a film in general. I really like how simple it is. There's there's just very digestible elements, but the way they're put together, the rhythm, the uh, melody, uh, the different instruments, it really creates this nice bit of, of tension and drama to the whole piece. It's just really, really well crafted. This might be my favorite song off of here. <laughs> Up 
Up next, we have a put pie, which I have no idea what that means. I looked it up and Google said, did you mean pot pie? <laughs> no, I didn't. But uh, regardless, this is a very sweet, if not somber piece. It's basically just piano and it really reminds me of Claire de Lune. This is really more of a passing track, um, sort of a mood piece, a tone poem, if you will. But just, I really like its inclusion on here. Just, just creates a nice bit of break before we move on to the final track of the album. Right on outside A, we have Goodbye to All I Know, and this one has a very similar feeling to track four, I don't know, and it's got a little bit of house music kind of tossed in there with this little sequence bit that goes on throughout. Overall, this reminds me of Depeche Mode, and uh, that could just be me, I could just be a, a weirdo, but just the whole overall approach to this song feels like something that Depeche Mode would be making today. Kicking off side B, we have the very catchy and upbeat title track, Through the Walls. This one really reminds me of stuff that St. Lucia is doing. And what I really like about it is the inclusion of a female vocalist. Now I can't really get any info on who that is. The included inner sleeve is very sparse on credits. So I don't really know, but if you guys know, leave a comment down below. But in the meantime, check this out. Up next, we have Belong, and I really like the introspective feel of this one. It's not sad or lonely, but it has a kind of more happy, positive vibe about it. It's it's very peaceful. It It's kind of bubbly and a bit spacey, but more in the cosmic sense of just the wonder of it all. I really like the vocal effects on here too. Really, really well done. Again, up when, into that falsetto, but it's also got some other things going on within it. Really kind of nice, soft song overall. A great follow-up to the first song on Side B. Track three is Funeral Show, and this one is very danceable, upbeat, and groovy, and that is a lot in part to the bass. Oh my goodness. This is a bass showcase song. If you love that instrument, you're gonna really dig this song. And overall, it's got a very in excess vibe about it. I think that has a lot to do with the vocals, remind me of Michael Hutchins. See what you guys think. Up next we have If This Is Your Love, and the rhythm on here is really the clear winner. It helps to drive the song all the way to the finish line, but I will say that about halfway through, it really almost completely drops out, and up comes this really lovely organic piano sound. It, it's very improv it's very sporadic. It doesn't feel like it's got a clear rhythm or direction and it's almost haunting in a way. It kind of reminds me a bit of being near the ocean and I don't know where that's coming from and it's probably totally off base when you guys hear this, but I really like the sound of this. Now, if you listen closely, there was still that rhythm underneath all that, real quiet, and it slowly 
fades back in. And I just, I love that sound. And the song finishes very strongly, just like how it started. And that to me is a very EDM technique, sort of having, you know, the, the, the beat drop out and it's this sort of like cosmic interlude before it comes back in, right? But this here kind of makes it feel, the, the way they do it here makes it feel much more indie. A better word for it maybe is alternative music or maybe something that like like a technique that maybe more Radiohead would do, something like that. And ah oh man, I just, I really like how this band sort of blends those genres together. Do let me know. Track five is Surfing on a Stone, and oh, man, I love that title. But overall, this is a very low key song, and it, it sort of creeps up on you with this rhythm that, that drives this song. There's some really great reversed elements. The vocal chorus melody on here just wins it for me. I love that sound. I'm on the wave and something's burning. It's like I'm surfing on but my favorite part is when all of that drops out and it's just vocals and acoustic guitar. Oh my gosh, it is so, so good. Can't keep the score, I'm a lifetime away. Too much noise at the end of the day. And the way it ends, I'm not gonna spoil it for you, you guys are gonna have to check it out, but it's great how this sort of orchestral sound just sort of envelops the acoustic guitar and vocals, and it just, it builds until it drops out completely, and we move on to the final song, Keep On. I will tell you that listening to this for the first couple of times, I was a little underwhelmed by it. But after I re-listened to this album for this review, that song stuck with me. See, initially I was thinking, well, they should have ended it with the, the fifth song. Like that one was such way stronger, but this one, I think was necessary. It, it, it brings it back, it gives it a nice conclusion to the album, and it makes you wanna go back and listen to it all over again. All right, let's talk about the packaging. On the cover, I love this image of the hand holding these two eyeballs, very Guillermo del Toro to me, but it's also got this printing look, like they blew up uh, an image from uh, like, a, like a newsprint or a postcard or something on the back there. Obviously, you get all the track listings. What I do appreciate, though, is that they numbered them a, one through six, and B, one through six. I, I don't know, it's a small pet peeve of mine, but I, I hate it when they just continue the numbering onto, the, onto side B. And it's just like, traditionally, that's not how you did it. You know what I mean? That's more of a CD numbering style. Now, the record came in this full color inner sleeve with more of that kind of trippy artwork. Love this sort of mysticism going on here. And on the back side, you, you get some more random images. And uh, you'll see down here that you get a little bit of credit stuff and thank yous. Now, the record comes on black vinyl. Here is the label for side A, which lists all the track listings for both sides. And here is side B, and it has a illustrated version of the front cover image. And lastly, it does come with a digital download code. Okay guys, that has been Through the Walls by Who Made Who. Absolutely adore this album, really well crafted from start to finish. There's really not a dud on here. I think you guys are really gonna enjoy it. And if you don't on the first pass, I encourage you, give it a second chance. This album is one of those that will grow on you and there's a lot to listen for. Anyway, I wanna know what you guys have to say. Be sure to leave me a comment down below. And I also wanna thank you guys for tuning in. And I'm your Vinyl Geek and I'll catch you on the flip side.